And that's Samuel offering. All right. Let's close our eyes. Let's pray. Okay? Exhale. Blow everything out. Exhale everything. Breathe in. Lord, give me the filling of the Holy Spirit, the triune God who is at work. May we be able to truly enjoy worship today. Hold it. God, give me the indwelling, filling, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. May my life be only Christ today. Exhale. May we be able to experience the working of God, breaking down all the force of darkness in the name of Jesus. Inhale. Exhale. All right, let's sing the first one together. Did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? We'll sing it nice and slow. And did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true. Did you ever stop? Did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given It's just too good to... All right, let's sing that one more time. Did you ever, did you ever stop to think about... It's your summit time. All that God has done for you. All the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true. Amazing grace, amazing blessings God has given unto you. Just turn around and guess what you'll find. Oh my, you will be surprised when you think of God. say wow amazing grace amazing blessings God has given unto you just turn around and guess what you'll find oh my you won't be surprised did you did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given you, it's just too good to be true. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Bless these precious remnants with the blessing of 393. Uh, we know that there is life, and we know that there is power, and we know that there is healing uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Uh, may we be able to enjoy uh, God, you who is the triune God. Uh, you who gives us, uh, you who blesses us uh, with this gospel, you who blesses us uh, and equips us uh, with the authority of Jesus, Lord. Uh, God, uh, just as we praised, may we be able to stop to think about for five minutes a day uh, for uh, to be able to have that kind of summit time, uh, to be able to have a time where we can truly think about what, uh, what the word of God is, what the covenant is, what your gospel is to these remnants, Lord. Uh, God, uh, may we be able to have this time of worship 
Uh, may we be able to give you the time uh, of true worship, a true thanksgiving, uh, of time of being able to truly focus and concentrate on the word that you have prepared for, uh, for us and all the remnants, Lord. Uh, bless these remnants. Bless the teachers. Bless all the pastors and all of the ministers. Uh, may, today's, um, may today's Parent Sunday uh, be that uh, where we can truly learn uh, the accurate gospel uh, from those that you have entrusted to, Lord. Uh, God, we thank you. May you be truly glorified today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. Let's say it to each other. Okay. Let's greet one another. Stand up. Girls in the back, stop what you're doing. Okay. Let's say it to each other. Jesus is the Christ. With a little bit more, with a little. All right, here we go. Let's sing it again, okay? Promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hands. Okay, let's close everything. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, bud. But you can stop what you're doing. You ready? All right. All right, Paul, can you come in more so I can see you? A little more, a little more. A little more, a little more. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Promises. Promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's there to guide me through his only word. I am his remnant. Promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's there to guide me through His only word. I am His remnant. Prom promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's there to guide me through His only word. I am His remnant. Jesus is the only Christ. La 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 la. la. I promises, promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's it to guide me through his only word. I am his right. La, da, 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 da. Did you ever, did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? All the blessings God has given you. It's just too good to be true when you, when you think of God's grace to you. Giving thanks is what to do. Close your eyes and think about it now. You'll just have to say, Amazing grace, amazing blessing, God has given unto you. So turn around and guess what you'll find? Oh my, you won't be surprised. Did you ever stop to think about all that God has done for you? Think of God's grace to you. Giving thanks is what to do. Close your eyes and think about it now. You'll just have to say, Wow. All right, my little heart. Caleb, can you come and help me? Please.
You can choose a helper. You can choose Paul to help you too. Yeah? Is that fair? Please. Please. All right. The most handsomest person. Raise your hand. All right, fine. The most prettiest person. Raise your hand. If you think I'm pretty. No one? I'm not trying to trick you. Handsome person. Raise your hand. Hey, handsome. <laughs> okay, fine. If no one wants to help me today. Okay, son. Come here. We've got a few. Thankful every day. My little heart. Jesus loves me and you. Who wants to help son? On this side. On my right side. All right, Sergeant, come. All right, I've got, I've got Mr. Handsome. And then I have Miss, Miss Beautiful. All right, here we go. Can you guys see them? All right. I'm watching you guys. Let's do it together, okay? My little heart. And my little heart goes. My little eyes stare. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. My, my little heart goes. My little eyes stare. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. La, da, da, la, 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 so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every from the top. My little heart goes thump, thump, thump. My little eyes, they are shining so bright. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. La 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 so long the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe him shall receive everlasting life yes jesus yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me for the bible tells me so Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. For the Bible tells me so. From the top, so long. The world that he gave his only son, that whoever would believe him should not die but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only son, that whoever would believe him shall receive ever. Let's do that again. For God so love, for God so love the world. That he gave his only son, that whoever would believe him should not die but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only son, that whoever would believe him shall receive everlasting love. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Your turn. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. For the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. For the Bible, one more time. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. All right. Thank you, girl. Boys and girls. All right. Here we go. Life of the Evangelist. I'm going to give you the count of four. And what do we say? Exactly. All right. Here we go. You know how it goes first? Does anyone remember the first body worship? Huh? Does anyone remember? Come on. How many do you remember? How does it go? W. What do you do? No. No. It's, it's a clap. And P. And E. Okay? It's an emphasis, okay? All right, here we go. That's all I remember of the body worship, though. All right, here we go. I'll give you the count of four. Let's all hit it together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. It's for the word of God, your covenant I'll hold on to. I will trust and follow you, knowing your word will come true. Within your word, I want my pain to have room. Trusting in what you've done and what you'll do. I know your word will be fulfilled in my life, in my every step. Praying for eyes to see what your vision is for me. I know you will answer me. I need only to believe. Sing the answers you have given to me. Help me to follow all your plans for me. I know that you will always answer my prayers in my every step. I will evangelize. Realize, let the people see in me. Visions of your glory, knowing that you have people that you prepare. Help me preach the gospel boldly, share. I know your work to bless the people I meet. W, three, four. Yeah. What? That's pretty good, Panza. Trust and follow you, knowing your word will come true. Within your word, I want my faith to have roots. Trusting in what you've done and what you'll do. I know your word will be fulfilled in my life, in my every... P, here we go. Praying for eyes to see what your vision is for me. I know you will answer me. I need only to believe. Sing the answers you have given to me. Help me to follow all your plans for me. I know your word will praise it. My last one. Yay. I will evangelize, share the things I realize. Let the people see in me visions of your glory. Knowing the 
that you have people that you prepared. I'm in a preach the gospel boldly shared. I know your word will be fulfilled in my life, in my every step. I'm your evangelist. Amen. All right, John 14, 6. Let's do one last one. And Jesus answered. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. I'm the no one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to meet God. Oh, I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, I want to give my praise to Jesus, He's the truth and life. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life, I'm the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me, there's no way to meet God. Oh, I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, I want to give my praise to Jesus, He's the truth and life. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life, I'm the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to me, God. All right. Amen. You guys may be seated. All right, guys. I pray that you guys can truly succeed in worship today. Okay? Today is Parent Sunday. Okay? And the best way to honor your parents, okay, is to be able to take what you learn from them. Okay? Take just the good things. Okay? Not the bad things. Just the good things. Okay? And you guys should be thankful that all of your parents have given you the opportunity to hear and to receive the gospel through your parents, through your pastors, through your teachers. Okay? And take what you have learned from them. Right? The gospel. Jesus is the Christ. The answer to all of my problems. The answer to all things. Okay? You take that, Jesus, and we succeed in worship today. Okay? So as we praise this last one together... I want you guys to really ask God, Lord, bless me, keep me, give me grace and peace, break down all the force of darkness that I may succeed in worship today. Okay? The best way to honor your parents is to succeed today. Okay? So succeed every day in worship. All right, guys? So let's close our eyes. Let's place our hearts. Know that this is a very important Sunday. Okay? And let's praise this last one together. Yeah? All right. Let's pray together. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn in face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you an amen, 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 amen.
The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. One last time, the Lord bless Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord turn his face toward you and give you Our remnant Chloe will come up and pray for us. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for gathering all of us remnants here today to worship you. At this time, please open up our eyes and our ears so that we may be able to listen to your word that you will give us today through Teacher Jenster. At this time, may you bless Teacher Jenster and all of us remnants so that, um, with the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to break down the forces of darkness with the authority that you have given us. And may you um, guard our hearts, minds, and souls so that Satan, not may, um, Satan may not deceive us at this time of the message. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Remnant Chloe, for praying for us. Let's all together, let's pray together, the Apostles' Creed. Let's close our eyes. Let's pray. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, where he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Success in worship, three, two, one. May open my heart to receive your word, that I may devote myself to the pastor's teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. May you grant the five powers to the pastors. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, three, two, one. Being obedient to the point of death for God's word and following the heart of Jesus Christ who died on the cross, may you allow the answers and blessings of 100% obedience of the word received from today's worship. I confess that Jesus Christ is my master. May you receive all the glory. Lord God, three, two, one. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. For for transmission, three, two, one. May you give me the word to boldly open my mouth and proclaim the rightful words, mystery of the gospel. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Oh, it's nice to see some familiar faces. Mr. Mountain. And the lazy boy. Lazy, lazy. And Remnant Hobbs. Who's missing, who's missing part of her shoulder clothing. Okay, fashion, fashion, fashion. And the towel lady. Who wears a towel on her head. Abby. Inhale. Hold. Even now the trying God is at work on him forever. Even now God is working by his spirit and the word. Even now the Christ is getting rid of the three curses and accomplishes salvation. And even now unseen to rise, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Deep enjoy this. Exhale. Inhale. 
called? What is arising right now? Record is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while praying invisible to your eyes, God mobilizes angels for his errands. Exhale. Inhale. Hold, you have an amazing authority. You begin to break down the background of hell, bind Satan, break down all the forces of darkness. Exhale. Inhale. Hold, five great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual, mental power, physical power, offering power, manpower. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Something more important than all of these. On your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit to on your studies. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Heaven, this is our background. By the mystery of your trying God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth, then we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom, it will come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. Exhale. Uh. Are you a whale? Inhale. Hold hell. We don't die and go to hell, but people are living a hellish life on earth, having the background of hell, going to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments their life at the end, drags people to hell. Exhale. <laughs> we communicate in whale. Inhale. Hold. Angels, with the background of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Meow. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than as is my spiritual state? This is where everything begins to be solved. I mean, to have a healthy spiritual state. Some people, when they don't have spiritual state, you could tell on their face they're unhealthy. I can, I can tell right now. I'm going to listen to the voice of God, not the words of people. Exhale. We're not doing anything. Put your pens down. Inhale. It just looks like darkness is over their face. Dark circles. Church is the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we got there. Exhale. Inhale. Mm. Old view the earth must meet. Leaders with the gospel for six sex people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. Wow. Loud breathers. Inhale. Hold. May God's image be revived inside me. May it be filled with the breath of life through your word. May I restore the blessings of the Garden of Eden. Exhale. Are you okay? Meow. <laughs> Inhale. Hold. Let me to enjoy the blessing of the throne, the transcendence of time and space in the light of 37. Exhale. E. Remember last week we learned about the, was it last week? Demon possessed fortune teller girl? Oh, that's today. His face just reminded me of it. All right. How many is it? Oh, inhale. 
Oh, how many to enjoy the unprecedented, never repeating answer of platform watchtower and tennis to save myself, my feels, and the church? Exhale. Mm. <laughs> Inhale. I'm meant to receive the heavenly talent power mission to save the pastors, prefer the age of the disciple, I mean specialization. Exhale. Wow. Inhale. I'm meant to receive the heavenly talent power mission to save the church officers and prepare for the age of the disciplization. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Hold it. Rate of globalization. I mean to receive the heavenly town power missions to save the remnants and prepare for the age of globalization. Exhale. How can a person yawn that much? Guinness World Record. Oh, I forgot to put the year-long slide in front of this. Anywho, Philippi, which was conquered in advance. Philippi. Philippi? Philippi, which was conquered in advance. And yes, we were, we were going to talk about Lydia, we're going to talk about Timo, we're going to talk about the Paul and Silas in prison. Wow. Hmm? What? Who? What? Where? And the demon-possessed fortune teller lady. And her owner. Can we move on? All right, moving on. Acts 16, 13 through 15. I'm there. On the Sabbath, we went outside. Three, two, one. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the river where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the woman who had gathered there. One of those listening was a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to receive to Paul's message. When she and the members of her household were baptized, she invited us to her home. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay at my house. And she persuaded us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To conquer first by putting 393 into action. Sound familiar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's put it into action, y'all. Oh, snap. Someone's holding on to our lesson objective. <laughs> All right, Johnny, you just write into action, which is the orange part. 2425 eternity. To conquer first by putting 393 into action. No, just big head. Not just have big head. Let's put it into action. Y'all coming to church? That's putting into action. Y'all actually holding the door open for somebody? That's putting into action. Don't just know it. Bunch of big heads. Good job. You're putting stuff into action. Don't just have big heads. New glasses, new hairstyle. I like it. I need a haircut. That's annoying. Someone's like, "Dude, Jinster, I like your buns." What? 
Gee, thanks. <laughs> 393. Speaking of putting 393 into action, let's review what 393 actually is. Okay. This first is a, the, the first three is triune God, but let's just put it in, we'll just organize it a little bit. So first, God the Father. What does God do as the Father? Wait, today's Father's Day? No, Father's Day. Oh, in Korea, it's Parents' Day. But God our Father, he's our Father, he's our Daddy, right? Abba, Father. Ba, ba, ba. There's different, different ways to say it, but God our Father. What does God the Father do? He gives us the Word. Right? So we need to receive this word into our heart. mind and soul and heart. Yeah. Receive the word. Today's word we're learning about is Acts 16. So place this message deep inside of your heart. You are excused. Just don't do that again. Now, what happens if you can't hear the word? If you can't receive the message? When you can't focus during message? Some people literally sleep during message time. And then they wake up when message time is over. Isn't that like spiritual problem like to the max? Right? I'm not saying any names, but... Or coming late. Or coming after message time. What? Or during message time. Or just wanting to skip message time. Right? That's That's... Spiritual problem, because that's the time where the word is being proclaimed. Some people came on Friday, the guy with the really hairy legs, remember that? Yeah, yeah came to receive the God's word. And then his little brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even those guys came. Daniel 1, or whoever missed, who came, who didn't come on Friday? Zero. If you can't hear the message, that itself is disaster, destruction, right? Y'all wanting to do something else besides worship, that itself is spiritual disaster. Yeah, the things of this world do seem yummy, right? Sweet and yummy. Because, and then you would rather do that instead of worship. Yeah, that means your spiritual state is like that, disaster zone. It's not funny. It's kind of sad. But luckily, God will restore you. You just got to put, now you need to put it into action. Succeed in worship. Being lazy pants. Why do I say this? Because I care for you. If not, do, what, do whatever you want. We need to restore God's image, right? Because we're creating God's image. The image of our Father. And some... Some people are like, oh, so God's a boy? Spirit, spirit. The fact that you're even thinking stuff like that, that means you're very physical. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never heard that sound before. Yeah. Wow. We need to pray for that remnant. God, may you give, give that remnant heavenly peace. All right? And we have to enjoy the blessings of the throne. All right? God, who's seated upon the blessing of the throne, is watching over us with fire in his eyes. Oh, yeah. Always watching over us. He gives us problems here and there because he wants to restore us. He gives us blessings. Focus now. So every time you hear that, you're going to start laughing and get distracted? I guess so. All right. So we, now we need to pray for that remnant and that remnant who's getting distracted. Who is that? Jew. Oh, Jew. Oh, Jew. Jew? Jew, Jew. Right, as we enjoy the blessing of the throne... We'll be able to save ourselves. My 24. No, no, no. My 24. Save myself first. We need to be saved first in order for us to save other people, right? Which will then lead to specialization. Help save the pastors. Discover my heavenly talent, mission, and power, right? So that's the first part. We organize it. Next, God the Son. He is the Christ, right? 
who accomplished salvation. As the true Pepeke, prophet, the way to meet God, priest, so it's free from the law of sin and death, sin and curses, and king, destroy the devil's work. That's the eternal answer, right? Who do you think is sick? Is Jesus the one who's sick, or are we sick? Then why do we keep blaming Jesus, right? We're the ones who's sick. The eternal answer, right? This is the answer in the past, today, in the future. This will always be the true answer to all. That's all we need to hold on to then. Only Jesus. OJ. OJ. Only Jesus. And this is an unchanging answer, right? If your remnants are going through hardships and difficulties in your life, hold on to this unchanging answer of only Jesus. Nothing else. Don't think that you being successful is going to change anything. Maybe temporary. It's not, but that's not the answer that your soul is looking for. That's not the answer God gave us. The answer God gave us is only Jesus. Oh, but I have this problem with somebody. Only Jesus. Oh, but I have this family problem. Only Jesus. Oh, but I'm so stupid. Only Jesus. I'm so lonely. Only Jesus. I'm so poor. Only Jesus. I'm too rich. Only Jesus. I'm depressed. Only Jesus. But my entire family was killed. Only Jesus. Someone scratched my car. Only Jesus. A cat got stuck in my car engine and my car exploded. Only Jesus. That happened before to somebody. Yeah, this pastor in California. It was like... There was like a, this strange smell in his car for like months and months. And then he got it checked out and there was a cat stuck in the, like a car engine. Only the fur and the, yeah, only the fur and like the bones remained. It was there for a long time. Anyways, only Jesus. Sorry, I got distracted. As we hold on to this unchanging answer, eternal answer of only Jesus, we'll restore identity, our status, right? The way we think. What's in our heart? That's like what makes us who we are, right? But let's go beyond that. Our soul, our spirit, children of God, right? Do you know who you are? When I was in high school, there was this, in senior year, there was this teacher, and he's like, do you know who you are? Who are you? Who am I? Let's write an essay. And I'm like, I know. Do you know? And I gave him evangelist material. After he took a poop in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom. He used the bathroom. And I was waiting there. And he's, it's embarrassing. Anyways. Enjoy the power that transcends time and space. Right? Unchanging eternal answer. We'll be able to save our church. Right? Because who's the head of a church? Jesus is the head of the church, right? Jesus is the head of the church. And Jesus made the pastors, his messengers, to, receive, to relay God's word. So whoever is up here giving message, receive it as if Jesus and God is giving the message, right? Remember when was it? Pastor Mike first went to Korea, and then Pastor Shin had Teacher Jinster give message. Do you know how many remnants skipped the message or Sunday worship? They're like, oh, Pastor Mike's not giving message? All right, then I don't have to listen. That's crazy, right? Because they don't know that it's God giving the message. It could be me up here. If Pastor Shin chooses somebody else to give message, then God is giving the message. It's not the person. Which will lead to discipleization, right? Right? Right. The cutie is here. Eddie.
he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then God, the Holy Spirit, will be able to restore authority, the Garden of Eden, right? God gave authority to Adam and Eve to rule and subdue over all creation. That's our authority. Conquer your studies. Conquer your school. Conquer your family. Conquer yourself. Conquer everything. Conquer the world. All right? Shine a light upon two, three, seven nations. Even like that guy. Lazy guy. I'm going to put him on blast. Lazy. And we'll be able to save the field. Right? This, this lazy remnant. His prayer topic all the time. Shine a light of Christ in the field. Yeah, got that right. First succeed in worship. Get your priorities straight. Globalization. Prepare for 227 nations. All right. So last week we talked about, and this entire month we're going to be talking about 393 into action. Right? Homework this week's give help. Were you able to give help to people this week? People that you use, the help that you usually don't give. All right? Let's, this is just review. So practice simple acts of kindness every day, right? Because we want to prepare to be leaders. Prepare to be leaders, right? Like just examples, opening the door for somebody, right? Only Jesus. Giving compliments to somebody. Hey, good job. I like your hair. Writing a thank you note, right? One remnant's like, I want to write a thank you note to somebody. Yeah. Got that right. Yeah. To your teacher, but not your Sunday school teachers. Thanks. Jealous. Oh, helping people in need, sharing your lunch. I don't know. Okay, then sharing your school supplies to somebody who's in need. Man, there's a student who never has pencils. I have to give this student pencils every single day. It's been like 140-something days of school. That's 140-something pencils. <sighs> Helping the homeless, right? This is not a foreshadowing, right? This is just an example. You, you notice how homeless people, they always have, God bless. God bless you. All the time, it's like, oh, you will be blessed. God bless. But then there, there they are begging for money. Right? What the? Or giving a gift to somebody. One remnant, they give gift of like, it was like a energy drink, and it said Summit on it. Summit energy drink. So I drank it all. I ate everything in one day. So I couldn't sleep for like two days straight. Too much energy. <laughs> Picking up the trash for other people. Man, there's people who leave trash. They never clean up after themselves. What's wrong with them? They never flush the toilet too. Oof. So what do I do? I'm not touching it with my hand. All the time. Even our classroom, dirty. Clean after your mess. Some people write on the whiteboard, and they don't clean it. Dirty, dirty. We just prepare, like helping the elderly cross the street. Hmm, how can we help? Opening the door for somebody. Uh, doing your chores, helping your parents with chores around the house. Now, some parents don't like that, because the kids are like, eh, they miss a spot. Or they break the, the plate. Anyways, helping with the groceries, putting the cart back in the, where the carts are supposed to go. Saying hi to somebody. Saying hi. You know who always says hi? What's his face? Unse. He's like, hi. Got that right. And then some people say, Hi, did you just... They start running in the hallway towards me like a monster. <laughs> so I need to shove their face. Get away. And then some people, when I'm behind there, they pop their head up. Hi, did you just... Hi, did you just... <sighs> uh, writing a note. Uh, calling in to check in on people. Like, hey, how you doing? 
Hey, Benji, how you doing? Oh, I could come on Sunday. Yes. That a remnant. <laughs> Letting somebody cut in front. Compliments. Hi hiding, hiding treasures in our playground. Oh my gosh, yesterday there was like so many kids on the playground, right? Yeah. So many. Yeah, in the playground yesterday. And there was like this Japanese festival going on yesterday, remember? Yeah, and they borrowed our parking lot, which they, we allowed them to. But there were so many Japanese people in their parking lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we say, OJ, only Jesus. Help set up the tables, help the homeless. Uh, chalk art. Oh, imagine if we did chalk art yesterday. How many people would have seen that? Give a gift. Help someone tie their shoes. Inv inviting people to play. Want to play? Sharing the last slice of pizza. Did you guys try that out yesterday? I know you guys ate pizza yesterday, right? Did you guys give the last slice to somebody else or use your selfish shellfishes? <laughs> okay. No wonder. <sighs> guys, sharing. Share the last slice. My mom even brought home two slices yesterday in a Ziploc bag, so I devoured it. But how can we really help somebody? What can we do? If somebody's dying and is it physical help? No, no, no. Is it emotional help? No, no, no. What everyone needs. What does everyone need? Everyone's separated from God. Everyone's under sin and curses. Everyone has a background of hell. Under Satan's control. Falling short of the glory of God. Up, 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 up. Falling short of the glory of God. No one righteous, not even one at sand. All right. Death, death. How can we help somebody who's drowning? We have to give them a life tube. Yeah, which is Christ. We give them Christ. That's the only answer. Everything else is like throwing staples at their heads while they're drowning. Throwing bowling balls at their heads when they're drowning. Throwing an anchor in their head while they're drowning. This is all physical stuff. Do we have to give physical help to people? No. Only Christ. Spiritual answer. This answer that never changes. Right? Do you guys want me to give you pat, pat, pat on the back, back, back? Do you want me to give you candies and chocolates? And do you want me to hold your hand and stuff and be nice to you? No. All I'm going to do is say, hold on to Christ. Yeah, I'm going to be tough on you, remnants. Oh, you want a little doo doo? Oh, you'll be, you'll be okay. No, <laughs> get it together. Hold on to only Jesus. Y'all sensitive remnants. Don't be so sensitive. <laughs> only Jesus. Be tough. Okay, this week we're going to focus on, focus on reading about famous individuals. This is going to be part of your homework. I'll explain later. But this is review, right? Just one page a day reading about famous people, right? There's biographies, autobiographies. One genius remnant knows the difference between biographies and autobiographies. He's a genius, absolute genius, right? There's ducksters. There's uh, videos online on YouTube. There's uh, movies on famous people, right? Try to read nonfiction stuff. Y'all read too much fiction stuff. There's a super strong, like, fighter. And then do you, know what he, do you know what he always watches every single day? He's super strong. He's a champion. And he has a belt and everything. And he beats people up for a living. And do you know what he watches every single day? Harry Potter. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, this super strong muscle champion guy. And he watches Harry Potter every single day. Talk about the things that are imprinted when you're little. All right. Keep our spiritual state healthy, right? Hold on to today's word. Prayer journal. You guys, make sure you're doing our prayer journal because that helps all the remnants. We're holding on to the same message every single day. Think about the spiritual connection there, right? Listen to a message a day. 
There's like seven messages, headquarters message, one for every single day. There's first service, second service, there's this district message, there's a scattered disciples one, there's business message, there's core, and then there's a, the school evangelization message. And then this week, they did the missions conference in Korea. So there's those missions messages, the conference messages. Read the Bible, write the Bible, pray, holding on to the word, summit time, listen to praise. Actually praise. So that we'll be able to stand against three nine, I mean three six eleven, right? We'll be able to stand against the world, not follow the world. And then our studies, right? Review at home, review, which is homework. Homework is a great way to review. Don't don't do this. <laughs> is that how you get knowledge? Imagine seeing that student. Imagine seeing a student like that in your class. I'm going to call that parent right away. <laughs> Homework, right? Review. Homework is review. What else? Uh, review your math, math practice. Language arts, right? These are all basics. Reading, writing. Practice your reading and writing at home. Stop playing video games and that's it at home. Do your review. Science. Do some science experiments at your house. Do some social studies. Learn about the world, history, geography. Practice your art at home. Yeah. Be, be physically healthy at home. These are just basics, right? The things that we learned in school, those are basics. And we should review those basics, right? We can't fall behind other non-believers, right? for the future, for the sake of the future, right? Learn something new every single day. Prepare for the future, right? Because we're 227 Healing Summit leaders. To like something simple, like learning new, one new word a day. We do that through Wordle, right? We do Wordle at school every single day. Now, don't just solve it. Find the definition. A new word a day. Carry around a little thesaurus or a little dictionary. Learn a new language. Right? I think homework last, last week was uh, learn new language. Jesus is Christ's answer to all in a different language. Only three people did that homework assignment. Make your bed. Some people, like when we come to church, what do we do with our, our clothes, our jacket, coats? We put it on the hanger, right? Or we put it in our classroom. Yeah, or you put it in your cubby. Some people just get it and throw it and then just go, what is that? People, I guess people are too comfortable here, huh, at church? Some people even brought like a little critter yesterday. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and put it in a ball. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Hedgehog bowling. Catch. <laughs> Exercise at home. 100 pull-ups every single day. That's how I stay healthy. Yeah. There's a pull-up bar. Pull-up bar. 100 times a day. Yeah, that's my routine. Inside. There's a pull-up bar inside my house. What's your routine to stay physically healthy? Sitting down. Eating are you, are you couch potatoes, a bunch of couch potatoes. You know what? Even sitting straight, like in your chair, and putting your back off of the chair, that's exercise. Yeah, try it out. Sit up straight, and then try not to put, the, put your back on the back of the chair. That's exercise, that's, and that's good for your back and your posture. If not, and you, you sit again, then you'll be like this, all right? Eat healthy food. Yeah, you try to eat healthy. Oh, you're on a diet? Ooh. Quiet, we're trying to just eat healthy. If you eat healthy, 
you feel physically healthy, right? You feel energized. Oh, you're on a diet? Ooh, you just want to look good. Ooh, shut your mouth. <laughs> healthy lifestyle. People don't understand. Sleep. Sleep early or and wake up early, right? There's, you have to have a routine sleep cycle, right? Some people sleep cycle horrible. No wonder they're sleepy the, during the day, right? So people who always complain, oh, I'm so tired, ugh. That means their sleep cycle is messed up. That means their lifestyle is messed up. Fix it, right? Classy lifestyle, leader. There's people, even high school, college students, they're always yawning. <sighs> what are they doing before they go to sleep? <laughs> the witness has spoken. <laughs> Clean your clothes or your, your toys, right? Yeah. Or even you, after you use something, you put it away where it's supposed to be. Practice your social skills, right? What should I do every single day? All right. Moving on. Okay. Last week we learned about Asia, which was conquered in advance, right? Church at Antioch. They succeed in worship, whoopee, fasted to receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and then God, the Holy Spirit said, set apart Paul and Barnabas. So they went to the island sent out by the Holy Spirit, went to the synagogues, preached boldly about the Jesus being the Christ. John, I guess there was another guy named John, or maybe his disciple John, he joined to help, preaching the gospel everywhere. There was this dude named Bar Jesus. Everybody makes fun of Bar Jesus' name. Good. But not the Jesus part. They went to Paphos, sorcerer. He was a magician. I guess, there, I don't know if this is the same guy who's Elemas, the sorcerer. Maybe it's the same guy. And then he was attendant to the proconsul Sergius Paulus. Sergius was a smart man. He wanted to hear God's word. He said, go get Paul and Barnabas. But then Bar Jesus kept trying to block it. No, 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 don't listen to them. Probably... Work of evil spirits, right? Child of the devil. You shall be blind. And then he was blind. Ah! And then the proconsul saw it. He was amazed and believed by the teaching of the Lord, which means he has spiritual victory in advance. Now, when a, when a road seems blocked in your life, that's just a start. Paul wanted to go to Asia? Nope. Asia? Nope. Asia, nope. He had a dream, Macedonia. And that's where he went, right away. He's like, okay, God wants me to proclaim the gospel there, then I'm going to go there. And today's message. Now, before Paul had the vision of Macedonia, he met in, I think it was Lystra. So before this vision, before this vision, He got in an argument with Barnabas, right? There was an argument. There was a fight between Paul and Barnabas. He's like, because Barnabas is like, I want to take um, some dude. And then Paul's like, no, we shouldn't take them. I'm going to take. So, and then they split. They split. Because Barnabas wanted to take this guy named, I think it was Mark. Paul wanted to take Silas. Paul's like, no, we can't trust Mark. So when there's conflicts in church, there was a reason behind it, right? They both wanted to go and preach the gospel, but then there was a conflict. And through this conflict, I guess they scattered, right? They separated. Paul and Barnabas, they split. No more besties. But there was God's plan behind it. So when you see, God, when you see conflicts in church... When you have see conflicts in church or adults fighting, there's God's plan behind it, right? Anyways, Paul and Silas, they went to a place called Lystra. Lystra, just sharing the gospel, looking for hidden, prepared disciples. <coughs> there was this lady named Lois, Grandma Lois, and then Mommy Eunice, and little son, Timothy. Timothy, Timothy. So Grandma Lois, Mom Eunice, 
son Timothy. Now, mother was Jewish and dad was Greek, which means 237? Anyways, Eunice and Lois, they're the ones who imprinted God's word. Timo grew up inside of the gospel and Paul met them. They were fellow workers in Christ. Now, there was this one time where Paul was stoned and beat up and thrown outside of the city. But do you know what Paul did? Paul went back inside for the sake of Timo, because Timothy was still in that city. Paul's like, no, there's a hidden prepared disciple there. I need to train Timo. So even when he was battered and bruised and bloody nose, and everything, <clears throat> he's like, you know what? I want to take Timo along on my covenant journey. So Eunice and Lois is like, yeah, go. We'll pray for you. So they took Timo. Timo's probably older. But, and Paul considered Timo his own son, right? All right, so anyways, Paul goes off to Macedonia, Macedonia to Philippi. This is after the vision. He went to Philippi, which is a Roman colony, leading city in Macedonia. So Philippi is a city in Macedonia. So he went to Macedonia after the vision. Okay, it's like Chicago, Illinois, Illinois, United States, Philippi, Macedonia. Because there was a conflict between him and Barney, right? Barney wanted to take John Mark, John aka Mark. Paul wanted to take, to take Silas. Now Paul knew John. There was this dude named John. He betrayed the disciples before. He betrayed them. So Paul's like, I don't know if we should trust John. But for some reason, Barney liked John. So Barney's like, okay, then you know what? Let's split. I'm going to take John, a.k.a. Mark. And then Paul's like, all right, I'll take Silas. And we'll go on our way. Anyways, Paul went with Silas. And then for a couple days, stayed in Philippi. Now, it was a Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. So they're like, you know what? Oh. So it's a Sabbath. We've got to keep the Sabbath holy. Let's look for a place of prayer. So they went outside of the city to a nearby river, and then they saw a bunch of ladies praying and worshiping together because they weren't allowed to worship, right? There needs to be, was it 10, 10 guys? There needs to be 10 guys. Even if there's a, a billion ladies and nine guys, worship can't take place. Do. Yeah, manpower. I'm just kidding. That was just a tradition rule back then. Old Test I mean, yeah, Old Testament times. Old Testament laws. So the ladies were worshiping and Paul and Silas are like, oh, there must be a hidden prepared soul here. And Paul sat down and began preaching about the gospel of Jesus being the Christ. Now, as we talk about Jesus being the Christ, some people will respond to the gospel message. And one of them were Yeah. Lydia, Lydia, oh precious Lydia. Everyone named Lydia, they're so precious. I only know two Lydias in my entire life and they're the most precious. And they're both here. Wow. What the? Bar Jesus, Bar Jesus spirit. What in the? Now, Lydia <clears throat> was a dealer in fancy purple cloth, right? Because purple cloth was for royalty, for royalty. Purple, wow. Purple bag, wow. Purple keychain, key wow. Purple, wow. Dealer in purple hair, wow. Purple underpants, wow. All right. And one of those listening was a woman from the city of Thyatira, named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth. She was a worshiper of God. She was a hidden prepared disciple. And she was a dealer in purple cloth. Fancy, fancy. Materia girl. The Lord opened Lydia's heart. Right? God opens their heart. I can't force you guys. Your parents can't even force you. The Lord has to open your heart. 
But then basics is basics. You still got to come to worship. Now, at worship, the Lord must open your heart. Just because the Lord didn't open your heart doesn't mean you skip worship. The Lord opened Lydia's heart. Right? God has to open your heart. No one else. Not even you. So you have to keep praying, God, open my heart. I need to receive your word. And she listened to the message, right? She accepted what Paul was saying, which is Jesus Christ, the gospel. You can't accept the teachings about Jesus being the Christ unless the Lord opens your heart. And she opened the door of her heart. Jesus was knocking on the door of her heart and she opened it. And she was baptized, her along with her household, right? The other ladies, baptism, children of God. And then Lydia is like, if, you, if I really am a believer, then you stay at my house. Because she's like, that's like mission home, right? See, for Paul and Silas, God prepared everything, even a place to stay. Because Paul and Silas, they just went there. Where are they supposed to stay? They're like, they're homeless. So Lydia is like, come to our house. And she persuaded them. Paul and Silas stayed at their house and kept teaching about the gospel, right? So when the individual is saved, one person is saved, then the rest of the family was saved, right? It just takes that one person. Now, Paul's spiritual victory... So after this, Paul, looking for a place to pray, there was this, de this demon-possessed fortune teller girl where she predicted the future and made lots of money for her owners, right? She was possessed. And she had the spirit to predict the future. Yeah, got that right, crying baby. Demon-possessed fortune teller girl, right? And she made lots of money for her owners. Oh, snap. See? People of this world, owners, they just want to use you for money. And, and she followed Paul and Silas around shouting, shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God, proclaiming the way to be saved. And she just kept this up for many, many days. Can you imagine that? It's so annoying even having some, like a sibling follow, follow you along, right? But imagine this demon-possessed lady just screaming out for many days, many days, just screaming. When we were in our foster church, there was this crazy, crazy demon-possessed guy who always was right outside of our church door and just screaming and yelling and, and swearing in Korean, right? You guys remember that? Yeah, even there was this one time where... He, he even joined worship upstairs, and then during message time, he was screaming and yelling out loud and swearing in Korean. Yeah. So Pastor, Tom, so Pastor Tom had to drag him outside. You guys don't know about that, right? Probably because we were downstairs worshiping. Right? See, every, see, we're downstairs worshiping, and then there's many things that, you, that go on without you guys knowing behind the scenes. Yeah. He kept just screaming many days. And, he's just, and then she, and then Paul inside is just sick of it, and so annoyed, turned to her and said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And what happened? That very moment, better. Yeah, all better. Evil spirit departed. What? I guess she was helping out because she's telling the truth. I guess evil spirits say no. But then she's telling the truth. These people are proclaiming the way to be saved. I don't know. You go to heaven and ask Paul, okay? <laughs> then I'll ask. Okay. But first I need to get Esther's signature. <laughs> and then the owner's like, What? My money, my money. You're under arrest. Crazy guy. I wonder where he is. 
Anyways, he he went, he brought Paul and Silas before the authorities, and the authority, the magistrate, the magis, magistrate. You know, he's, he says they're advocating customs that are unlawful, right? And then the crowd went against them, and then they were actually beat up. The crowds rose, rose against them, and the chief magistrate tore Paul and Silas's clothes and ordered they were beaten. Whoops, 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 whoops. Ouch. Now, Paul and Silas, they just kept their mouth shut. Zip. Do you know what all Paul has to say? Zip. I'm Roman. Zip. Oh, they're not even allowed to touch them. Roman citizens are up there. Even, even better than the magistrate, right? I'm not sure. But if all, have, all Paul has to say, I'm a Roman citizen, then he's like up there. He's, he's number one. They're not even allowed to touch him, but he just kept his mouth shut, like some of us need to learn how to do. Anyways, they were beat up, P.S., Paul and Silas, and thrown into jail. And then the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. Keep watch, keep watch. So, they were placed in jail, and then there was a, the prisoner, prison guard. And their feet was chained into the, the stocks. They couldn't move. Probably something that looked like that. Maybe also with like a metal ball, metal chain. Fastened to the stocks. Now, in such a horrible condition like that, what do you think Paul and Silas did? They just praise and sing to God, right? Thanking God. God, thank you for allowing us to be inside of this kind of persecution for the sake of the gospel. Thanks. And then all the prisoners were listening. They're like, be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. Some of them sleep too much. That's the problem. And then all of a sudden, there was a death, violent earthquake. So the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors of the prison were flung open. Up, up, up. No, violent earthquake. And then, oh, best chance for the prisoners to just run out and escape, right? But did they? No. And the prison guard's like, he probably, it, was, it was dark. I guess the fire went out or whatever, because they didn't have electricity back then. And Jayla's like, lights! And then he's, he, he got his blade, and he was about to kill himself. Oh. My life's over. All the prisoners escaped. And then Paul, Paul all of a sudden is like, no, don't harm yourself. We're all here. Prison, the prison guard called for the lights and then bowed down, fell before Paul and Silas. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Interesting question, right? The first thing I would have said was, get back inside. Or, where is everybody? Don't move. But then he says, what must I do to be saved and become child of God? What does Paul and Silas say? Ooh, okay, so this is why God put me in prison. There was a hidden prepared soul. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved, you and your household. And then the prison guard let them wash up because they were all beat up, probably dirty with cuts. So they took a shower and put the towel on their head, just like our towel remnant right there. It looks like a towel. And then Paul and Silas were invited to the prison guard's house, and then the entire family was there, and they were all baptized, became children of God. Household baptism. And they even gave Paul and Silas food. But after this, uh, he had to go bring them back into the prison, right? Because, you know, they're prisoners. Technically, he wasn't even supposed to do that. He wasn't supposed to take them to his house. That's illegal. But anyways, brought him back. And then the next morning, some guards came because the magistrate says, uh, okay, you're free to go. But then Paul and Silas is like, I'm a Roman citizen. I want the magistrate to escort me out. Tell him to come here, and I want an apology, and I want to be walked out. And they're like, uh, 
Paul is a Roman citizen. What? And then he, the magistrate came inside and he, he apologized to them and then escorted them out. He's saying, I'm just, okay, but please don't come back here. Don't come back into this city. Paul's like, okay. And then Paul and Silas went back to Lydia's house and encouraged them and then departed. Look at that. Hidden prepared disciples. All right. Anyways, just like Paul and Silas, we need to be spiritual summit first. Right? We need to be in the stream, the flow of, or the nine streams, right? Whatever, whatever takes place, see the heights, depths, lengths, widths, which means look deeply. When you look at, when, whenever you face a situation, look deeply inside. Hmm, what's God's plan? Save those above, below, besides us. Who's above us? Right, the adults. Right? How about below us, the younger ones? Who's besides us? Friends, remnants, right? Your peers. Now, here's the thing. You guys have friends at school, right? But then, are they really your friends? Think about it. Oftentimes, we hang out with people at school, and we're like, oh, yeah, I have lots of friends at school. Yeah, those are my friends. But are they really? Think about it. Past, present, future. Eternal answer is Christ, unchanging, so hold on to Christ. And then our past will be a platform. There was this gangster guy, gangster. Tattoos all over his body, scars, knife wounds, stab marks, and cuts all over his body. Because he's been into so many fights. And then he, be he became a child of God. And then do you know what he did for the rest of his life? He did gangster ministry. <laughs> gangster ministry, which means all the gangsters that he met in his past and in the present and the young gangsters growing up, he did ministry with them. He shared the gospel to them, right? And they all listened to him because he was like the top gangster boss. Yeah. Gangster ministry. That's using his past for the sake of the gospel, right? There was this drunk guy, always drank 24-7. To the point that when he wakes up, do you know what the first thing he does is? And he's like, ah, energy. Yeah. And then he met, he met Jesus, became child of God. And do you know what he spent the rest of his life doing? Drunk ministry. <laughs> Whenever he met other alcoholics, he would probably drink with them, but then share the gospel at the same time. Let's do Jesus to Christ, right? Yeah. Drunk ministry. Past is a platform, baby. We need to prepare our vessel, right? Don't have a broken vessel. God is pouring down his blessings. We need to collect it, right? Be ready. Spiritual summit, happy with God. Keep a spiritual state healthy. Now, as we do this, succeeding in worship, best way, we won't follow the streams of this world, right? Oftentimes, it's so easy to be swayed by the world. Do you know what? Even in movies these days, even in the, the new movie, uh, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, in that movie, there's, um, there's this the main character girl. Her name is America, America Chavez. She's the first... Yeah, yeah. she's the uh, first like, Mexican, Spanish-speaking superhero who's also gay. Yeah, yeah. And then even in the movie, there's two moms. She has two moms. Yeah, so this is the stream of this world right now. And then we're just going to be swayed along with it. We're going to be swept away. Even during my track practice, eh, these girls, oh, they all have boy problems. I'm like, ladies, we're in sixth grade. No boys until college. Ah, just joking. And they're like, oh, then how about girls? <laughs> Look at the stream of this age, right? Even that America Chavez superhero girl. On her jacket, it says in Spanish, like, amor es amor. Love is love. 
So just because you love somebody, even if they're the same as you, gender as you, it's okay? What the? Don't be swept away. Amen. So, what do we got to do? Spiritual concentration. Spiritual concentration, right? How can we be spiritual summit, not, not swept away by the ways of this world? Am I saying the ways of this world are wrong? I'm saying the spiritual state of this world is wrong, right? Spiritual concentration, right? To receive guidance of the Holy Spirit, like Paul and Silas, even in prison. Best way to receive guidance of the Holy Spirit and concentrate? Worship. What's worship? Word, prayer, evangelism. Which is why our parents, our teachers, our pastors keep emphasizing, please succeed in worship. Worship, worship, worship. Don't take it as burden, right? Ah, oh, but I don't want to. Oh. Just come and succeed in worship. If you can't physically come, do it online. But you need to succeed in worship. Even if Benji wasn't here, he always watches and then posts his prayer topic. That's succeeding in worship. If you're going to miss, still watch it and succeed in worship. Receive God's word. Pray. Keep planning for evangelism. People who do come for remnant worship, succeed in worship and focus instead of doodling and playing. Right? Which is why I always have Addie sit next to teacher Christina now because she was doodling last time. But succeed in worship. Just because you come here doesn't mean you're succeeding in worship. Okay? And then we'll receive healing, right? Only the word, prayer, evangelism truly heals us. Let Jesus take control. Do you know why? This is what Pastor Johan said. People who go to hospitals, do you know why they get healed? Because... They let the doctors take control, right? If someone's sick, the doctor says, all right, take this medication, do this, wake up at this time, sleep at this time, you need to do physical therapy at this time. And then eventually they get healed. Why? Because they let the doctors take control. But then for true spiritual healing, who needs to take control? God, right? Not what you want. We have to let Jesus do what he wants to do. Let Jesus take control. Best way? By succeeding in worship. As you remnants succeed in worship and live centered on church, that's allowing Jesus to take control. It's not people. Jesus uses those people. Let Jesus take control so we can experience Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing, and eventually stand as Jesus' witnesses. And then this one remnant always says at the end of Jesus' witness, Jesus is the Christ. Got that right. Let's experience Jesus' love, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing, Jesus' witness. Uh, from Watcher Antenna. Homework is, okay, last week was helping people, right? This week is famous people, famous individuals, right? Every single day, learn about someone famous. You know, we'll learn about them a lot. But one day, one new person. Now, I posted some links on our Google Classroom. You don't have to use those, but I would. For Ducksters, there's a website with a bunch of different famous people. Just read one a day. Short. Not even a minute. And then there's also biography.com. You click on a famous person. They give you like a new person every single day. Learn about that person. On YouTube... Biography.com has a biography channel, like three-minute video of a famous person. Just watch one a day, right? You don't have to do all three. Just choose one. You can do all three if you want. Uh, this is a trust system. Stand before God and do it. You're not doing this homework assignment for me. This is for you to, to be prepared as 227 leaders. Don't cheat yourself. Even during track practice, do you know what some girls always do? And boys, they always do. When I'm turned around, they're supposed to be on the, the, what is it, the bike, the elliptical bike training. And I turn around, and then they go. I, I look over here, and they're not doing it. And I say, 
You're only cheating yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Stand before God and do your homework. All right. All right. Today is Mama Day. All right. Now, one crazy remnant. I, uh, maybe he, maybe he or she is not crazy, but they're like, "Oh, if God's the father, then who's the mother?" What the physical question? Wrong question. But yeah, today's Mother's Day. Thank your, thank your mamas, right? It's hard growing up in the household of a Korean mama, right? Yeah, because we're different. We're born as Korean Americans, and then, but then most of our times, our parents are just Korean. They were, so there's cultural differences, right? And sometimes we don't understand our Korean mamas or our Korean daddies. But you have to understand it because that's the way they grew up. And we grew up in America. That's kind of different, right? But still, God allowed them to be our mamas. So we thank our mamas because we're really thanking God, right? In Korea, it's Parents' Day. Yeah. So in Korea, it's Parents' Day, which is why we thank all of our spiritual parents, right? I consider all the de senior deaconesses, elders, as our, our pastors, as our daddies and our mommies, spiritual mommies, daddies of the church. Now, they might not consider me their son. <laughs> Probably just a pain in the butt. But I still consider them as our mommies and our daddies, right? Which is why whenever I even see your mommies and daddies, I'm like, oh, that's my spiritual mama, spiritual dada. Oh, hi, Emma Umba. Emma Umba. Yeah. Like our Samonim, our pastors, our daddies and mommies of our church, right? But who is our true daddy? God, our father. God is our father, right? All right, today let's pray for Finland and Iceland. Christian, mostly Christian, but I think Finland, mostly Christian. Iceland Lutheran, which is a branch of Christianity. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? It's a cross, if you look sideways. Oh, yeah. Colors are different. All right. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Finland and Iceland so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.